Welcome back. I'm with James Montemagno, who's the Principal Program Director for Mobile at Microsoft. Is that correct? Yeah, about right, yeah. Okay. I, I, what I do is I come from the Xamarin team, so cross-platform, mobile development, and desktop development. And I overlook to ensure that the tools are great for developers, but also ensuring that anyone that integrates with our tooling, let's say it's Azure, or some other backend, or some party, third-party library, works great for our developers. So a developer comes in, like, I want to make an iOS or Android app. We got Xamarin for you, we have mm -hmm. Visual Studio, we have all these libraries that work. So I kind of make sure that entire circle is, is full for developers. So you were here with um, Scott Hunter on the keynote. You were on stage fixing his code. Is that a regular occurrence? Well, I would like to say that it is, but I don't want to throw Scott under the bus too much. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, what we got to show off was our new live share for Visual Studio. And it's a really great technology because over the years, I've worked in small development companies. I've worked at huge development companies. And I actively work, my team that I work with now, we're in five different countries. There's five of us. So we're all in different countries, different co time codes. So what we showed on stage is a live share that says, hey, I need some help. I'm debugging through an issue. Just go ahead and invite me. Mm -hmm. Visual Studio will connect up automatically, and I can see all of his source code. It's kind of sent over my machine. I can add breakpoints. I can fix his code. He can debug it, and we can work together on it, yeah. which is really kind of a magical experience. You can have multiple people on it. So it's a way to help developers be more productive, and that mm -hmm. works in any type of development, which is really cool. So I was running through the tweets during your talk, and the one that came up with, with the most surprise was, I can share code through, through a link. I mean, how um, extraordinary will that be? How, how much will that change things now? Well, I think what LiveShare does is enable any developer that's getting started or they're 10, 20 years in development uh, to really kind of close that gap, the development loop. We have great tools, we have great ways of debugging, we have great things that you can do on your box. But there's never been that way of like, hey, I need help. And if I need help, I have to go call someone over or I have to go send them some code, they have to compile it. They need to have the tools, they have to have the perfect setup on their machine. Yeah. So now it's none of the tools are need to be on my machine. Mm -hmm. I didn't just see the code. So I think from a developer standpoint, I'm a developer at my core, even though I have this you know, fancier title now, yeah. I'm a developer. So uh -huh. to me, this like is everything I've wanted for the last 15, 20 years of development, just to be more productive. And I think we at Microsoft will look at how do we enable developers to be more productive on a day-to-day -day basis, and I think LiveShare is a great example of that. Yeah. How have you seen Xamarin evolve since Microsoft's takeover in the last couple of years? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, so I work really close with all of our developers in the community that are out there like watching this, mm -hmm. but all the teams at Microsoft. And what's great is that since we're all together, right? We have Windows coming together, Visual Studio coming together, .NET coming together. It feels just like one big happy family that we can iterate and we can say, hey, what were the issues that you ran into two years ago, a year ago, and we're running into something similar. Let's fix that, let's, let's fix it together. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's important is that we look at .NET as a platform for everyone. The developers that are using and building .NET applications, whether it's for server, for web, for mobile, they shouldn't care about the tooling, what's under the hood. Yeah. They should just hit F5, it should work, it shows up on their phone, like, wow, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. And I can take that same code and I can put it on another platform, it should just work. And that's our goal, and that seeing the teams come together has been great. So I think over the last two years, we've seen a few things, three things that I'll talk about. I think just uh, at a high level is stability. So coming into the Visual Studio and Azure and .NET organization helps us just make a better product, to yeah. be honest with you. We yeah. get um, the additional feedback from our developers and customers mm -hmm. out there. We're able to iterate faster, work as one team. So when we're on that cadence of delivering every few months, we focus on what's really, really important instead of let's just add all these little things yeah, yeah. and then it becomes fragile. Uh -huh. So that's the number one thing. And then we're also looking to say, how can we help developers be more productive and write less code, I think is really cool. So we're listening to say, we understand that we need great tools, we need stable products, mm -hmm. but we also need ways for you to build applications faster yeah. and not have to worry about all that junk on iOS, Android, or Mac. So one thing that I showed during my session was how we're making it easier than ever, but more powerful than ever, to build and access native features. 
So I showed off Xamarin Essentials, which is a project that I personally worked on and I PM, program manage. Uh, and what that does, it says, listen, iOS, Android, Mac, Windows, they have all these APIs. Mm -hmm. You got to go learn all of them. Now they're in C Sharp, so that's great. But I got to go learn three or four different ones. So we said, well, you know, things like connectivity and compass and sensor data, shouldn't have to go learn that multiple times. We're .NET, we're C Sharp. We know all of them. We'll put a single API that you get to access, mm -hmm. but it still calls a native code. So now imagine a new developer comes in, they want to build apps. They learn one user interface, they learn one set of native APIs, and all of their .NET code is shared. And it's a beautiful world because now, where it was 70% of my code is shared, then 80%, now it could be up to 100% of code shared, but still have access to all those native features. So you get this powerful, powerful system to access those powerful APIs, but it's simple, and that's what it should be. It should be, shouldn't be hard, it should be easy to get into. Now, if you want to get in there, you can access all, every single little bit of iOS and Android, because you get access to all the APIs, but for a new developer, or even me, you know, seven, eight years into mobile development, this is all I've ever wanted, so. so do you think a job of a developer has become easier now? <laughs> well, yes and no, I think uh, we, as a developer, it's important to still understand architecture. It's still important to understand how those APIs work, so everything's open source. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that you can do, and we have great training. We have our Xamarin University and Microsoft Academy and things like that to learn. I think what we're doing is we're helping remove some of that friction of, all right, a compass. Like I can go learn all that stuff, but why do I have to? It's documented. It's there. I'm the copying and pasting. I got to maintain this code. So those type of things where. It's, it's not the, 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 the finer details under the hood of how the application is working. If I want to build the world's best compass application, it's 3D graphics doing this stuff, I'm going to have to go learn some stuff, right? We have some stuff to help you and get you there, but you're still going to be building, you know, learning the, the, the depth of it. So easier, yes, but still, still cross-platform, still development, right? So you have to understand the basic concepts, but also some of the more advanced concepts. But we're there for you. We're there every step of the way. Okay. And what I love is if one of our parts of Xamarin Essentials or Xamarin or Xamarin Forms, anything like that, is not exactly what you need, it's all open source, like I said. So you can just take the code, put it in your app. That's cool, too. We're, take our code. It's all there for you. Because we want to make your life as a developer uh, mm -hmm. more enjoyable. So not have to worry about all that. So the, f the future of mobile development in Xamarin? Is good. I mean, to me, it's always moving forward. I like to say I started as a customer paying Xamarin money to develop iOS and Android apps. I did it for two years. I joined the company because I loved it so much. Mm -hmm. I joined Microsoft during the acquisition because I still loved it so much and I continue to love it to this day. And I think with Microsoft and Xamarin and the team together, it's just a stronger product. And now we're working on what else can we solve for developers. And that's what Xamarin is. And what else can we do that is really going to aid developers going forward? So I think it's a bright future, and I'm really excited for it. And how do these kind of events really help to spread the word? Yeah, things like this is interesting. I get to travel around the U.S. quite a bit, um, but I love international travel. I love uh, coming to Spain. Uh, I've been here now. It's my third time. Okay. First time in Madrid, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a lovely city, but also just... What's unique coming to events is learning. So most of the time when I'm not speaking, I'm down on the floor. I'm getting coffee with you know, everyone attending. I'm listening to feedback because some problems that are maybe I've seen are different problems that they're experiencing or they want something else or what do you think about what I presented? So getting the word out is great. Being in the keynote, having a session later uh, is, is great but that personal interaction is what's really important at the end of the day. So that's why I love doing it. That's why I travel 50% of the year to go speak to developers, because that feedback is only important to me, but to all of Microsoft. Well, it's been a pleasure having you here on the stage, giving the keynotes with Scott, and speaking to you now. So thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you. Yeah.